We are halfway through the month of November. Today we will be discussing sneakers to resell in the remainder of the month. If you're not into reselling, that is okay as well. You could use this guide to know what are going to be the most hype sneakers, the most limited, or even what popular general releases may potentially go on sale because hey, we're all trying to save some money. Specifically, we'll be discussing the name of the sneaker, the retail, the release date, and whether the sneaker will be profitable or not, or if they may even potentially sit on shelves resulting in a sale price. Be sure to subscribe and enable post notifications. This way you stay 100% updated on all those profitable releases. Also, be sure to follow my Twitter for urgent updates and info, Keith Adam 10 and also personals for you, such as the recent dunk shock traps that we have been seeing. Also, just an update on Gargantua, we recently pushed our tops module, and also recently got to help tons of users cop the off-white Jordan 2s from our Q bypass. Much more coming soon, stay tuned. Starting off with the second half of November on the 17th for $100, the Dunk Low Goldenrod will be dropping. Expect these to be profitable with a decent to good margin, larger sizes will perform the best. Moving on to November 19th, the Dunk High White Cell Gum will be dropping for $120. Unfortunately, demand is very low on these, hence I'm only expecting these to be lunch money, specifically on sizes 11 and a half and 12, and personal only for the rest of them. Also on the 19th, the Jordan 1 Low Light Chocolate will be releasing on the Nike app for $110. These appear to have really solid demand at the moment, in fact, I am expecting these to remain profitable with a decent to good margin. Then on the 20th, we should see the Yeezy 500 Ash Grey drop for $200. If not, then we should still see them later this month, but the 20th is the expected day at the moment. I'm only expecting about lunch money for these with sizes under 8 being the best. Also on November 20th for $170, the Jordan 1 Bordeaux will be dropping. Earlier this month, these had significantly more demand, but as expected, now that we're approaching the drop, demand is certainly much lower. Regardless, I am still expecting these to be profitable with a subpar to decent margin, just nothing crazy. On the other hand, on the 23rd for $200, we have the Jordan 1 Gore-Tex dropping. Due to the higher retail on these and the fact that I'm expecting demand to be pretty low on these, I'd say that these are mostly a personal as of now. Then on the 24th for $200, we have the Jordan 1 Manier release. This is going to be an incredible drop for two reasons. For one, the demand on these is extremely high, better than the threes in fact, hence I'm expecting them to be very profitable with an incredible margin. Second, similar to the Jordan 3 Manier drop, these will most likely release through a new domain drop. These new domain drops are incredible because they allow manual users to cook really hard on them. So make sure you do follow my Twitter, KeithAdam10 and personals for you, as I always do tweet out the new domain when these drops do occur. Also on the 24th, the Dunk Low Golden Orange will be dropping for $100. You could expect these to be profitable with a good margin with larger sizes performing the best. We may also see some retailers for these drop on the 27th. We'll get to that later. Also on the 24th, the Jordan 9 NRG Black Boot will be dropping. The only issue with these is that the retail is $225. Although demand looks pretty decent at the moment, unfortunately that high retail does kill the potential profit on these. I am still expecting them to sell out, so don't sleep if you do want a personal pair for this winter though. Then on November 26th for $225, the Jordan 11 Animal Instinct will be dropping. As of now, I'll have to say personal only for these due to the high retail and the fact that I'm not expecting these to garner any insane demand, but I'll let you guys know if anything does change. At best, perhaps you might be able to make a little bit of lunch money on the larger sizes for people who don't have tax in their state. Also, on the 26th, we will be seeing another restock of the Yeezy 500 Utility Black for $200. You can expect them to be very profitable with a great margin, full throttle. Sizes under 8 for these will perform the best. Then, on the 27th, for $240, the Yeezy 700 Faded Azure will be dropping. Similar to the other recent 700 we have been seeing, I'm only expecting small profit on these with a subpar to decent margin, nothing too crazy. Although 700s used to historically do well in the smaller sizes, similar to the 500s, recently it's been the larger sizes that have been performing much better. Also on the 27th, we should be seeing the Dunk High Golden Orange drop for $120. Unfortunately, I'm not expecting anything great for these. At best, you might be able to make a little bit of lunch money on sizes 11 and up with a poor margin. And then, as mentioned earlier, some retailers should be dropping the Dunk Low of this colorway on this day as well. Moving on to the 29th, we will be seeing a new type of Yeezy 350, this time in the state blue colorway. I do not know the retail as of now, but I assume it is most likely going to be reasonable, likely around $220. If that is the case, these should be profitable in all sizes, with at least a decent to good margin. Then on the 30th for $200, the Jordan 3 patchwork will be dropping. Similar to the Jordan 12s that we just saw recently, I'm not expecting much from these. At best, lunch money with a poor margin and large sizes if you do have no tax, but other than that, mainly just local 
local sales. Now, moving on to some November releases that don't have precise dates at the moment, but are still supposed to drop this month. First of all, the Yeezy 350 Blue Tint is still supposed to be restocking this month in select regions for $220. When these do drop again, you can expect them to be very profitable with a great margin in all sizes. And similar to the 700s, it's starting to look like for these, we might actually see larger sizes performing the best with this new line of production. Then we will also be seeing the Dunk Low Sempera Familia for $100 sometime in November as well. You could expect these to be very profitable with a great margin as well. And lastly, for today, the Dunk Low Chlorophyll will be dropping for $100 sometime in November. Expect these to also be very profitable with a very good margin. So this is one of the many drops to look forward to this month. Anyway, that will conclude it for today. Feel free to leave a like if you enjoyed or perhaps if you learned a thing or two. Subscribe and enable post notifications. This way you stay 100% updated on all hyped releases. Also, feel free to check out the links in the description below for reliable, fast, residential proxies and pre-verified Nike sneakers or Adidas accounts. Also, follow Endurance's Twitter for updates on restocks or key giveaways. And the same goes for Gargantua if you want to keep up with the progress or restocks. Last but not least, make sure to follow Keith Adam 10 and Personals for you. This way you guys stay updated on all urgent info like I was discussing today. With that though, I will see you guys later. Have a fantastic rest of your day and of course, good luck on all these upcoming releases.